Good morning, everybody. It's Rhonda. And today we are going to make a clip art bundle. And we're going to do this really, really quickly. I'm going to show you a couple free tools that I have available for you where you can create your prompt, scale your prompt out, and then we're going to come in here to my designs and use the Dream AI and Parallel Prompts to whip out an entire bundle of clip art in minutes. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to my custom clip art prompt generator. All right. And all you have to do here is type in a basic subject of what you want. Let's see. Uh, spring is coming. So I do think I'm going to use uh, sunflower or no, I'm just going to do spring tulips. All right. And that's all I'm entering. And this generator is going to give me five different prompts. The first one is just a basic minimalist uh, prompt where it will be just the tulips and nothing else. And then we also have our four stylized themes or uh, stylized prompts. Okay. And this will give us a couple different options for it. And I think down here at the bottom, this one says create a watercolor clip art featuring vibrant tulips inside a yellow rain boot with gentle raindrops. And I think I'm going to use that one. And I'm just going to run that prompt real quick over here all by itself, just so I'm sure that that is what I want. But I think it sounds really good with the uh, yellow rain boot, raindrops. So let's see what we get here. Okay, so this is what the prompt generated and I really, really like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that prompt that we just had generated for us here in the clip art generator. And I'm gonna go over here to our custom prompt scaler GPT. And I'm gonna paste that prompt in here. And all I'm gonna do now is right after I paste the prompt in, I'm going to tell it to scale this prompt for a variety of different flowers, whoops, for a variety of different flowers and give me at least 15 variations. Now this is going to give us 15 different variations on that exact same prompt using different flowers. So we're going to let that run. It only takes a couple seconds. Okay, so it gave us 15 different prompts and I'm going to grab all 15 of them and we're going to copy them. Now I'm going to come back here to Dream AI and I'm going to paste all 15 of those into my prompt box and I'm going to turn on parallel prompts. Okay. And I am going to leave this set to Dolly. I am going to use the quality HD. It's up to you what you do there. And once I have everything set the way I want it, I am just going to hit dream. And it is going to generate all 15 of those prompts for me at one time. So we'll give it just a second to do its thing. Okay. So here is the original one that we first ran. And now here are all the different variations that it ran for us too. So I want to turn this bundle into, well, I want to turn all these uh, clip arts that it created for me into a single clip art bundle. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down through here and I'm going to pick the ones I like the most. I like this one. So I'm going to click on that. You see it has a blue border around it now, and I like this one, and I like this one, and that one. Let's go with that one, that one, that 
that one. And I'm just, you know, clicking on the images I like best from all our generations. And I think I like that one. And that one. This. This one. Some of these are just absolutely adorable. Poppies. And of course, we are going to grab one of our tulips. And now once we have all the images selected that we like, we can go right up here where it says save 16 images to listings. And yes, we will upscale them and we will save them to our clip art bundle folder and create new listings and file slot one. And we will just click save to listings. And we'll give this just a second to do its thing. All right, so that has done. And I'm going to go here to listings. And actually, I'm going to go to collections first. I'm going to go to clip art bundles, open that folder. And now here are all of our images. Now we just created 16 different clip art images with a rain boot and spring flowers in less than 10 minutes. That is amazing. And they've been upscaled to 4,096 by 4,096. Now what we could do is go into our quick actions, remove the background, and we can click remove background. Now the background removal does cost credits. So if you are on a free account, you will have to make sure that you have your credits loaded. Or your other option is to download all of these files and uh, open them and use the background remover of your choice. I typically use uh, Photo Room to remove my backgrounds, but I figured in this video it's just simpler to use the one here that is already in my designs. And there we go. We have all of our backgrounds removed. Let me double click and you can see these and they have done a fantastic job on removing the backgrounds. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I like to make sure all of my images are roughly 5,000 by 5,000. So with them all still selected, I'm going to go to quick actions canvas templates i'm going to create a custom size 5000 by 5000 and create and now i have a blank canvas and then i'm going to click down here on the left on designs i'm going to select file 2 which is my transparent background i'm going to pop that in here I'm going to click up here at the top on position and I'm going to put fit to artboard. And then I'll just go to these three little dots that when you hover over it says show menu and I'm going to click on sync. And that is syncing every one of my designs just like that first one I brought in. It's going to fit them all to the canvas size. Then we'll just hit save PNG and I am just going to overwrite my original file because we don't need that one. So I'm just going to hit yes, overwrite. And it will save all of these now to our listings. Okay, those are done. So if we double click on our first image slot and hover over it, we have a 5,000 by 5,300 DPI transparent background image. Now you can do a couple things now. You could uh, run image mockups on all of these right now. Uh, what I would do is now I would download these 
I'm going to click on download and it'll ask me which file and I want to download file one because that is our um, 300 dpi 5000 by 5000 file and I'm going to do zip file to make it quicker and then I will download and it's preparing the file now. It's zipping everything up. So this takes a, just a couple minutes because these are large images. And then it's gonna ask me where I want to save this. So I am gonna go in here to Clip Art Designs and I'm gonna create a new folder called, oops, called CA53 Rain Boots. And I'm going to click inside of that and I'm going to hit save and it's going to save that zip file to my folder. So I'm going to bring this over here and let's go in here, clip art designs, scroll down rain boots. And this is the zip folder with the images we just downloaded. And I'm going to hit extract all and just let it unzip to its file. Right, and there are all 16 of our images. And now you can, uh, you can either just zip them up, you can rename them, you can do whatever you like, but they are ready for you to list in your Etsy shop now. And we did all of that in less than 12 minutes. So if you are looking to create some clip art bundles and you want to do it quickly, I definitely, you can use the clip art prompt generator, the scaler, and then use Dream AI in my designs to make this an extremely fast process. So if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.